Every now and again, I get a definite signal from the universe, from God, from my higher self, from somewhere, that tells me I'm on the right track with the sort of things I'm doing. Over quite a number of years now, way back since 2012, whatever I've produced, I've been giving away. Giving away videos I've made, giving away books as free PDFs, and keeping very loose records of those giveaways to give me an idea of just how much I've done. But today, I open this book, a book of quotes on mindfulness. I have a few reference books, of course, the Oxford Concise Dictionary, Roget's Thesaurus, a couple of books on synonyms and antonyms, and this one, Words That Inspire, Quotes for Every Occasion. But when I opened the book on mindfulness, out dropped a sheet of paper, neatly folded. And this is what it read. And this is over from over a year ago. Hi, Tom. Thanks so much for lending me those two books. These were actual, not PDFs, but actually hard copy or soft copy books. Thanks so much for lending me those two books. They were most insightful. And from them, I formulated a list of healthy goals to help me achieve these this year. Most kind of you for thinking of me. Best regards. I won't give the name. But it moved me quite a bit. Because we get feedback sometimes on LinkedIn or Facebook of likes and comments, but it takes a ter certain type of thought, certain type of effort for a person to write you a little note or letter and actually deliver it to you. It, you know then that you actually really are affecting people and affecting them, I like to think, for the better making their lives just a little bit happier. What can we actually give to other people except our services, whatever they might be? Physical services, mental services, simply by listening we're providing a service, and of course advice from our hearts to their hearts. This is what I think I've been endeavouring to do now for quite some time because let's face it there's an awful lot of unhappiness in the world. If it was always created by actual tangible events that would be bad enough but often it's just from the thinking of the people themselves. Pessimistic thoughts, loss of hope, loss of direction, asking the big questions or not even asking the big questions. What's my purpose in life? What should I be doing? In other words, what they usually say is, how can I be happy? And then think that they're going to make, become happy by chasing things out there. Whereas we know happiness is and can only be found by a search inside of ourselves. If it happens from outside, it's a byproduct. By, by product. We feel happy because something has happened, but it's passing, it's fleeting. To get the contentment, the peace that we all seek inside, we need to start thinking about how can we provide a service doing what we love to do something not onerous, something we enjoy, for other people, forgetting about the results, forgetting about how it turned out, 
And certainly, unless of course we're having to do this to earn an income, forgetting about the income as well. Just give. I think that the more we give, the more we get. And that's not just in material things. That's in satisfaction. That's in the gaining of wisdom. And that's in growing within ourselves to become the incredibly powerful, beautiful person that we really all are deep inside.